Hey, once upon a time, steam was the primary source of power for maritime vessels. But what if it was again? A British company is trying to make that happen. I will tell you the story on Steam Culture. Stay tuned. Well, the British have given us a lot of things. Winston Churchill, fish and chips, the Beatles, James Bond, Austin Powers, and these two guys. But now they've given us Steamology, which is a new startup company that is trying to make steam the primary source of power again in the shipping industry. Now steam, as I said, was the source of power other, other than sailing in the wind uh, that to be used for commercial uh, steam vessels. Now, steam kind of dropped off in the early 1900s with the invention of the diesel engine. Uh, I mean, from the 1930s up until about the mid-1960s saw a decline, didn't go away, but it definitely declined in an age called dieselization. Well now, Steamology, as I said, is trying to bring this back, albeit differently. Instead of burning coal, they are burning oxygen and hydrogen, and here's what you need to know. At the heart of it all is a zero emission hydrogen steam turbine. Now they're going to begin manufacturing it as a diesel engine replacement for rail freight locomotives. If they get that right, they're going to move on to the maritime vessels. Now the uh, water to water system, as it's called, is a compact, energy dense steam generator, as you can see here. The steam is generated using energy stored as compressed hydrogen and oxygen gas in tanks. So that high pressure, superheated steam is used to drive a turbine that does the work of generating electricity. Now interesting is that hydrogen and oxygen used in this process are manufactured by using renewable energy from solar, geothermal, or wind turbines. So completely enclosed and very, very, very environmentally friendly. Now, interestingly enough, Steamology has been on steam culture, or rather the work of Steamology has already been on steam culture. Because this is a fun fact, the CEO of Steamology was actually the project manager on this bad boy right here, the fastest kettle on wheels. This is a steam car that in 2009 set the world record at 150 miles an hour, and the CEO was the project manager, as I said, on that car. Small steam world, isn't it? Well, you can Google fastest kettle on wheels. You can also Google Steamology, but don't you do that before you Google us because we already did it for you. You can go see both of them right here on Steam Culture. You can also check out some bowling points, which are very informative, and I will get to work on something for you next week.